Publius Terentius Offer, c. 195 185 c. 159? B.C., better known in English as Terence, was a Roman playwright during the Roman Republic, of Berber descent. His comedies were performed for the first time around 170–160 BC. Terentius Lucanus, a Roman senator, brought Terence to Rome as a slave, educated him and later on, impressed by his abilities, freed him. Terence apparently died young, probably in Greece or on his way back to Rome. All of the six plays Terence wrote have survived. One famous quotation by Terence reads, Homo sum, humani nihil a me alienum puto, or I am human, and I think nothing human is alien to me. This appeared in his play Hutton Timorimenos. Biography Terence's date of birth is disputed. Aelius Donatus, in his incomplete Commentum Terenti, considers the year 185 BC to be the year Terentius was born. Fenestella, on the other hand, states that he was born ten years earlier. In 195 BC he may have been born in or near Carthage or in Greek Italy to a woman taken to Carthage as a slave. Terence's cognomen offer suggests he lived in the territory of the Libyan tribe called by the Romans Afri near Carthage prior to being brought to Rome as a slave. This inference is based on the fact that the term was used in two different ways during the Republican era. During Terence's lifetime, it was used to refer to non-Carthaginian Libyco Berbers, with the term Punicus reserved for the Carthaginians. Later, after the destruction of Carthage in 146 BC, it was used to refer to anyone from the land of the Afri Tunisia and its surroundings. It is therefore most likely that Terence was of Libyan descent, considered ancestors to the modern-day Berber peoples. In any case, he was sold to P. Terentius Lucanus, a Roman senator, who educated him and later on, impressed by Terence's abilities, freed him. Terence then took the nomen, Terentius, which is the origin of the present form. He was a member of the so-called Scipionic Circle. When he was 25, Terence traveled to Greece and never returned. It is mostly believed that Terence died during the journey, but this cannot be confirmed. Before his disappearance he exhibited six comedies which are still in existence. According to some ancient writers, he died at sea. Plays <inaudible> 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 Like Plotus, Terence adapted Greek plays from the late phases of Attic comedy. Terence wrote in a simple conversational Latin, pleasant and direct. Aelius Donatus, Jerome's teacher, is the earliest surviving commentator on Terence's work. Terence's popularity throughout the Middle Ages and the Renaissance is attested to by the numerous manuscripts containing part or all of his plays. The scholar Claudia Villa has estimated that 650 manuscripts containing Terence's work date from after AD 800. The medieval playwright Roswitha of Gandersheim claims to have written her plays so that learned men had a Christian alternative to reading the pagan plays of Terence, while the reformer Martin Luther not only quoted Terence frequently to tap into his insights into all things human but also recommended his comedies for the instruction of children in school. Terence's six plays are Andrea, the girl from Andros, 166 BC, Hesira, the mother-in-law, 165 BC. Hutton Timorimenos, the self-tormentor, 163 BC. Formio, 161 BC. Eunicus, 161 BC. Adolfo, the brothers, 160 BC. The first printed edition of Terence appeared in Strasbourg in 1470, while the first certain post-antique performance of one of Terence's plays, Andrea, took place in Florence in 1476. There is evidence, however, that Terence was performed much earlier. The short dialogue Terentius et Deleucer was probably written to be performed as an introduction to a Terentian performance in the 9th century, possibly earlier. <laughs> Cultural legacy Due to his clear and entertaining language, Terence's works were heavily used by monasteries and convents during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Scribes often learned Latin through the meticulous copying of Terence's texts. Priests and nuns often learned to speak Latin through reenactment of Terence's plays, thereby learning both Latin and Gregorian chants. Although Terence's plays often dealt with pagan material, the quality of his language promoted the copying and preserving of his text by the Church. 
The preservation of Terence through the church enabled his work to influence much of later Western drama. Terence's plays were a standard part of the Latin curriculum of the neoclassical period. U.S. President John Adams once wrote to his son, Terence is remarkable, for good morals, good taste, and good Latin. His language has simplicity and an elegance that make him proper to be accurately studied as a model. Two of the earliest English comedies, Ralph Royster Doyster and Gammer Girton's Needle, are thought to parody Terence's plays. Due to his cognomen offer, Terence has long been identified with Africa and heralded as the first poet of the African diaspora by generations of writers, including Juan Latino, Phyllis Wheatley, Alexander Dumas, Langston Hughes and Maya Angelou. American playwright Thornton Wilder based his novel The Woman of Andros on Terence's Andrea. Questions as to whether Terence received assistance in writing or was not the actual author have been debated over the ages, as described in the 1911 edition of the Encyclopædia Britannica. In a prologue to one of his plays, Terence meets the charge of receiving assistance in the composition of his plays by claiming as a great honour the favour which he enjoyed with those who were the favourites of the Roman people. But the gossip, not discouraged by Terence, lived and throve, it crops up in Cicero and Quintilian, and the ascription of the plays to Scipio had the honour to be accepted by Montaigne and rejected by Diderot. See also References Further reading Augustakis, A. and Ariana Trail eds. 2013. A Companion to Terence. Blackwell Companions to the Ancient World. Malden, Oxford, Chichester, Wiley Blackwell. Boyle, A. J., ed. 2004. Special Issue, Rethinking Terence. Ramus 33-1-2. Buckner, K. 1974. Das Theater des Terence. Heidelberg, C. Winter. Davis, J. E. 2014. Terence Interrupted, Literary Biography and the Reception of the Terentian Canon. American Journal of Philology 135 387-409. Forehand, W. E. Terence. Boston, Twain. Goldberg, S. M. 1986. Understanding Terence. Princeton, Princeton University Press. Caracasus, E. 2005. Terence and the Language of Roman Comedy. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Papayoanu, S., ed. 2014. Terence and Interpretation. Pyrides, 4. Newcastle upon Tyne, Cambridge Scholars Publishing. Pizzini, G. 2015. Terence and the Verb to be in Latin. Oxford Classical Monographs. Oxford, New York, Oxford University Press. Sherrick, A. 2009. Reading Roman Comedy, Poetics and Playfulness in Plautus and Terence. W. B. Stanford Memorial Lectures. Cambridge, New York, Cambridge University Press. External links The Six Plays of Terence at the Latin Library in Latin. Works by Terence at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Terence at Internet Archive At Perseus Digital Library Andrea Hesira Hatontimoromenos The Eunuch Formio The Brothers 15th Century Scripts from Hesira and Eunuchus, Center for Digital Initiatives, University of Vermont Libraries Terence's Works, Text, Concordances and Frequency List in Latin the Life of Terence, part of Suetonius's De Viris Illustribus, translated by John C. Rolfe. P. Terenti Commodiae cum Scholi Aeli Donati et Eugrafi Commentaries, Reinhold Klotz, ed., Lipsiae, Sumptum Fisite. B. Schwickert, 1838, Volume 1, Volume 2. Sorgll, Terence, Eunuch 232-264, read in Latin by Matthew Dillon. Latin with Laughter, Terence Through Time.